Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, I'm checking out Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony, Moth in the Flame Live, of course, from SNM2. I'm pretty excited for this because I wasn't aware they were dropping another uh, performance from this concert, of course, SNM2, before it actually releases a little bit later this month. I believe it's this month. I believe. I think I'm right. But anyways, I wasn't expecting this, and I'm pretty excited. So I'm, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm just going to get right into this thing. I love Moth in the Flame. I think it's one of the better songs, in my personal opinion, off of Hardwired to Self Destruct. So I'm excited to hear the uh, SNM version of Moth in the Flame because. Uh, this is pretty exciting. I, I didn't like go and look at actual footage of people recording because I know a lot of people recorded from the concert in the in the audience or whatever recorded this whole thing. So I definitely didn't want to look into that. I wanted to wait for Metallica to officially release it for me to hear this stuff for the first time. So here we go, guys. Metallica and the San Francisco Symphony, Moth in the Flame, live, SM2. Let's get into it and see what it sounds like. Here we go. Should we play some more? Yes. Yes. We were going to anyway. You know that. I love the quality of the video. It's great. The crowd. I like this riff. Did I hear something? There we go. I love this riff. He sounds great. That growl. Yeah. He did it again. That growl, man. This sounds really good. I like that. That didn't happen there. Oh, I like that. The da da. That's yeah. The symphony. Good. Nice. Okay. James. <laughs> Interesting the the stuff above, like the neon stuff. Interesting. Lars. <laughs> that <laughs> the spaces. That whatever he's doing. <laughs> yeah, there, there it is. There, wow. And like the vocals went up. I'm noticing the symphony's not doing too much stuff outside of what the band's playing. Like, there's little bits where they're adding different stuff, but it's mostly just following what the band's doing. At Lars. Always making faces. Oh, they said they're using a drum fill there. They waited a little second there. The 
double base. Yes, yes he is. Okay. That that little. <laughs> See, let's find a shot we can use to just hold on to for the rest of the video. James getting in there screaming. Good stuff. It really was good stuff. <laughs> I can't find any good shots. Ah, that's fine. So, I, I really like the performance. I, I really like Moth and Flame. Like I said, I think it's one of the better songs off of Hardwired. And I, I want to say, though, because I don't know. Because I was listening to SNM earlier today after seeing Mouth on the Flame. I'm like, oh shit. So I, was, listen, I went back and listened to the original, original SNM. And it's like they added so much cool shit to the songs. And it really is a different experience listening to the songs. I mean, The Call of Cthulhu to me is a, a masterpiece in terms of metal music. It's so fucking good. And SNM version is its own standout thing that I really, I think enhances the song overall. It just makes it a different... It's not like you're listening to Call of Cthulhu with just a couple of stuff added in from the symphony. It's like, at times, it's a whole new thing at times. It's it's so good. I don't know. I was I guess I was expecting a little bit more from the symphony. I'm not sure if it's because of the mixing. If, like, there's some things I'm not hearing for the, the, for the first time watching this. Just It sounded like, they're, like they were adding some things here and there, but overall they were just kind of following what the band was doing. And there wasn't really anything that was making it stand out as a new experience in terms of like a wholly new experience of Moth in the Flame. But it's felt like Moth in the Flame with some symphony backing and there's some stuff they're throwing in the doo -doo 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 during some of the verses. I think it was the second verse and the final verse. You heard this doo -doo 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 -doo, this, this this thing that came in like, what? <laughs> it kind of threw you off because I, I, don't, I don't remember hearing it in the first verse. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe, maybe it's just that I was, like, so focused on the fact that, you know, it's a new Metallica thing. Even though it's not a new song, but it's like, hey, new Metallica. Because, luckily, this was filmed and everything came together before, of course, James went into rehab. But the main thing was, thankfully, this was done before everything happened to the world. And everything is pretty much fucking shut down. And it's still kind of is still shut down, in a sense. So, thankfully, we have this to look forward to uh, in its entirety, SNM, too. So, this is really exciting. But, I don't know. I don't know. I was expecting a little more, but I overall it's a good performance. It's a good video. It's a good uh, version of the song with some added stuff in the symphony. I just kind of expected some more stuff added in, but maybe this song didn't require that. Maybe other songs that are new to S and M two in terms of like getting adapted for S and M because you know we had all those songs from the first S and M and we had no idea what to expect. Now S and M two, there's a couple songs that of course return in S and M form to S and M two. Um, being brought back into play again, but they're also adding in other stuff as well. So um, it, it, all within my hands, we already heard that, and that was really interesting. It's acoustic version, but still. So I don't know. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video, the reaction to Moth and the Flame Live Course SNM2. What did you guys think of this performance of Moth and the Flame? Curious to know. Let me in the comments below, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.